Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming a video on books I myself didn't enjoy or just didn't get into. So this is not to offend any of you fans of these books. Personally, I wish I could join your train, but sometimes you can try as hard as you want, it just doesn't happen with a book. Now, there could be several different reasons why I didn't like these books. For all the books I may be showing, I'm going to be naming the reasons why I didn't get around to finishing them or just didn't like them. Before continuing, I just want to announce that currently, as I'm filming this, I'm uploading a video on Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. It was my second book talk, so if you're watching this, as soon as you're done, go check out my Vampire Academy book talk. The first book that I am not a big fan of is Will Grayson, Will Bra Grayson by John Green and David Levington. Now honestly I wanted to love this book so much because John Green's writing for the most part I really did enjoy. I don't know what about this book I didn't like. I tried reading it the first time. I didn't know that each chapter changed from Grayson to Grayson so I got really confused and I just didn't ever feel like going back and trying to understand what was happening. I know a lot of people like this book and there's also a lot of people who didn't like this book. I heard that David Levington was a good author as well but for me personally this book just didn't draw me in. I didn't get that far in plus it got water damage and I can't read a book who's all damaged up so I don't plan on reading this book unless someone says like, oh my god, it's the best book I've ever read. If it is the case, let me know and like tell me why so that I can be interested by it. But if it's not, I just don't really feel like reading it. The next book is the Vampire Diaries series. Now, these books, everyone seems to like them. I started watching the TV show first, which is probably the main reason why I didn't like these books. Simply because if I already know what's going to happen, I don't really want to read about it, although that perspective has changed. Also, it says volume 1. I don't know if you see it, it's like volume 1. But it doesn't make sense with the first show. So I think I got the wrong book, and I've been trying to read this book for like 5 years now. Because I'm so confused as to what happens in the beginning of this book. I'm like, this never happened. I keep telling myself, just go into it. It's not like the show. But I really feel like I got the wrong book. So if I did get the wrong book, let me know. But if it is very similar to the TV show, I don't really want to read it. So, yeah. For the most part, it's mainly because I've watched all the shows. Next is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Now, this book has had so much hype about it. Everyone seems to love it. And I bought it and I knew like from the cover that this book was going to be good. First of all, it has the employee recommendation sticker and it just seems to win a lot of awards and it looked really intense. And I went into this book thinking it was going to be very intense, just knowing that this girl committed suicide and she left 13 tapes with the 13 reasons why she did it. And I just started reading these books. And maybe it all fits through and it all plays out and it's a huge puzzle that like is mind-blowing but I found some of the reasons I got I think like to hear I found some of the reasons to be quite stupid and this isn't trying to offend anyone this is and I just don't know how to express my opinion in any other way because I just found like it was very over like like dramatic for some parts and I just wish that this book was a bit more intense than it actually was because I just I thought it was going to be different and I was just very disappointed maybe my my expectations were too high but it just truly disappointed me the next book is beautiful creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll now this book I actually tried reading before watching the movie and I heard a lot of good things about this book. A lot of people seemed to love it. I was just too confused by what was happening. I think it was because I was at a point where I was really behind on my reading. Like, I wasn't as advanced as I should have been. But I just found that, like, this book just 
confused me some. Maybe it was the sentences, maybe it was the words, maybe it was just the way she wrote. I just didn't understand what was happening and I just didn't like books like that. So it just didn't really intrigue me and I just never took the time to challenge myself to read it. And I have now watched the movie. Um, it was okay. I don't really want to read this book. I'm not planning on reading this book. So that was the main reason. It was just very confusing for me. Now you probably noticed that most of my reasons was because I had no clue what was happening. I was really confused and it's the same thing for this book. Now a lot of people like this book and the series but please don't hate. It is the unbecoming of Maya Dyer. Now the reason why I didn't like this book is because I read it and I found the words in like some of the words to be very like complicated and I didn't feel like using a dictionary for every single page. I was just lazy guys. Um, my roving, my, my roving, my reading has truly improved since I tried reading this book so maybe I will go back again. Also the fact that a lot of people read the first and the second one loved it and most people hated the third one sort of makes me not want to read it because as soon as I like hear a lot of bad things about a book I sort of go into it like eh and I'm not like really motivated to read it but I want to formulate my own opinion on this book um, I've also seen a lot of people sort of not like this book but for the most part people seem to love it I will try to read it again it's just not on the top of my priorities because I've already tried and I already didn't like it but this book the summary to it really did intrigue me so maybe it will again one day the last book I have that I did not like is where she went by Gail Foreman I read if she stay if she stays stays uh, and I truly did enjoy I didn't think it was the best book out there because it kept going back in the past and I just didn't like how it was like building up for us all to know she was gonna wake up obviously she was gonna wake up we the only reason why we read it is like maybe the author is gonna be like like different and make her not wake up but she did wake up and it was okay I did enjoy it I love the romance in it I thought it was very sweet so I picked up where she went and I tried reading it and a lot of people like this book I don't know why I didn't get into it maybe again I was confused in the beginning I'm unconfused now but I'm not really interested in to know what happens I'm sort of satisfied with the way the book ended but maybe one day I'll be in a reading slump I'll just pick this book up and read it I don't know it's very short I could probably read this in a day or two I'll probably just have to push through to say I finished the two books, but I don't know, for right now, I'm not very interested. The next book, before I talk about it, I do plan on rereading these books, and I do plan on getting into them, but when I started them, I just didn't get into them, and that is the City of Bones series by Cassandra Clare. I read up to 180, I think. Um, everything in this book that happened, I liked. I thought was interesting. I just wasn't hooked. And then I put it down. I actually have the second book on my bookshelf. So I even bought the second one because I thought I was going to love it so much. And I just didn't get into it until my friend recommended the Vampire Academy series for me. And I really liked it. And she said, if you like Vampire Academy, you definitely have to read these. Because these I like even more than Vampire Academy. I was like, oh my god. So I am going to read these. I'm not going to read them soon. Maybe in a couple months. Simply because I marathon the whole Vampire Academy series in like a week and a half so like I kind of want to cut back on series for a while just because it was very hard but maybe in about two three months I will get to these books and I'm very excited to hop on the fan train because there's so many cool things about these books so many people like them so I'm not saying they're bad I'm just saying I didn't get into it the first time so guys that was all for the books that I didn't really like some of these books are very hyped and some not so much I hope I didn't offend anyone who truly loves these books there are so many books out there that I adore and people just don't seem to like 
So I get where you're coming from and hopefully I express my opinion in a way that didn't offend any of you. Overall, some most of these books I will give a second chance to. There's just other books that seem to interest me more right now and I have like to go, like a pile of books I have to read that I haven't finished because I wasn't determined enough to. And like I said, I've advanced as a reader meaning I'm more the type to, when I start a book, even if I don't like it, just push through it. Whereas before, I just think, eh, don't want to read it. So, now that that's happened, I will get back to these series or books. But for now, I have so many other books for you today. With, uh, not today, but in the future. Which reminds me, I will soon be filming a book haul. So, also, don't forget to check out my YouTube channel to see if my book haul has been uploaded. I have about... 10 books to show you since the last one which was only about two weeks ago so yeah don't forget to watch and i will also be filming my october wrap-up bye guys i hope you have a great day